We have found this amazing family that needed some reliable transportation. They have six kids of their own, multiple kids they have fostered and adopted, and they continue to foster additional uh, children. And so a traditional minivan doesn't fit for them. And we thought uh, you know, that it would be a great opportunity to involve everybody in the community. We've had so much outpouring of love and support for this little project. Uh, and we're excited to go deliver this van to them today. are really excited to be here at Larry H. Miller Honda. Wade and Joe, why don't you come over here really quickly. These are our two friends from Larry H. Miller Honda that have hooked, hooked us up with this beautiful 12 passenger Nissan van. Wade, what's up buddy? Such Thank a cool you project, so much. thanks for doing this. Absolutely, Joe, these guys are the best guys. Anyone that wants any vehicle in the valley, call these guys, because they are awesome. And the whole Larry H. Miller group, Phil, you know who I'm talking to. Um, thank you for helping us source and uh, get the best price on this thing. We are really excited. We're going to go deliver it today to this family who has been so gracious with all of their resources uh, in helping. Oh. <laughs> so first we started shopping for Toyotas because I thought, hey, I've always had good luck with Toyotas. Uh, my Forerunners, my Tacomas, stuff like that. Um, but it turns out Toyota Siennas are literally the hardest, hottest vehicle on the face of planet Earth, unavailable to anyone. I tried to pull strings. There's literally no Toyota Siennas available. However, when we got into it, I'm not minivan guy. You guys will see me make fun of minivans in some of my videos. However, they are super useful, but they only fit eight. Right now, that family would be maxed out with eight. So we bought this Nissan EV350, I think is what it's called, Joe. Is it an EV350? It's a 3500. EV3500, okay. Nissan EV3500, and it fits 12. Come check this out. This is the roomiest van on the absolute entire market, okay? Two seats up front, entertainment. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four in the very back. What is that? Four, seven, ten, twelve passenger van, all wheel drive. This thing's gonna be fantastic for this family. Let me introduce you to uh, Nikki. She is the executive direct director of the Utah Foster Care Foundation. Nikki, what are we doing today? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So much fun giving this van away to a foster family that's so deserving. Can so, you, tell, thank us, you. tell us a little bit about the family and, and yeah. why we feel like this is perfect? For yeah, them. absolutely. Um, they have been fostering for many, many years. They've fostered a lot of kids and what they're really, what's so special about them is the work that they do to reunify kids back to their biological family. And that's walk, the goal walk, of foster care, Yeah, right? walk us through that. Like why is reunification so important? Yeah, so foster care really is meant to be a temporary uh, landing place for kids, to be safe, for families to heal, and when foster families and biological families can work together in that healing process and have the kids return home, it's just beautiful. And that's what the Peñas are just amazing at. They're just a gift. That's incredible. So, we, yeah. we are honored to support the Peñas in their uh, amazing generosity to our community and to our brothers and sisters in foster care. Wow, this is gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be so fun, yeah, I'm yeah. so excited. And they don't have reliable transportation, or at least transportation that fits, you know, no. the number of kids. They have, have right now. They're operating on one car, and that okay. one car is uh, a little finicky. Okay. And um, Hiram, the dad, is a nurse, so he works long hours, long shifts. Okay. And they try to balance uh, visits. You know, kids are trying yep. to visit their parents and therapy and court and all the things that come with foster wow. care and his job and everything else. So this is gonna be this amazing. Is, this is really yeah. great for this family. We also, I made sure that this car has warranty on it. We bought brand new tires for this car. Uh, and Larry H. Miller and my team back here that were so kind and gracious to help us with this, uh, like discounted everything for us. And so this is, uh, it's been just a beautiful thing to see so many people come together. So Nikki from Utah Foster Care, uh, she went to the foster care office. Um, these are from uh, good friends of ours. Check out all these gift cards that were left there. And then, and then another note, Ron, and check these out. More gift cards in here. Absolutely incredible generosity. Rhonda, thank you, thank you, Rhonda thank you. And I are so, so grateful for each one of you guys. And I've been told that tomorrow and the next day, 
more is coming in for this family, so thank you. And we've also had donations come in online, guys. This is gonna be so helpful for this family as they continue to kind of navigate, you know, child rearing and the Foster Care Foundation, so this is awesome. All right, homies, hey, we're actually gonna put this big red bow on it. Uh, we're gonna see if this works, because we're gonna put it on like two blocks before we get to their house, see if it stays on. Driving with this big red bow, we're about to go drop off this surprise van to this amazing foster family. Oh, I'm driving too fast because the boat's about to fly off. Okay. <laughs> Let's go see. They're up here on the left. Let's make sure I don't hit any cars from here to there. We're about to pull in. I think we're at the right house. Let's go see. I think they're outside. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're here. We're here. Let's go check it out. How you doing? Hi, good. Good, good, good. Hi, Hi how are you? Hi. I'm gonna give you a hug. Okay. Here the real thing. How are you? How are you? Good. I'm good. Good. We're dropping off a new van to you guys today. Yeah. Hi. Hey, how are you? No, we're we're recovering from here. I don't know. I'm okay, yeah. 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 We so we hear that you are the most observant people on the face of planet Earth. And you've got, I think, six kids of your own. Is that what I understand? You've fostered, you know, repeatedly over and over again. Um, we went to go find a minivan. I'm like, well, we're already maxed out with a minivan. So this is uh, the latest and greatest 12 passenger Nissan uh, EV3 uh, 3500. Was that what it's called? 3500. Okay. Well, I'm a car guy, but I'm not a van guy. Okay. So, uh, so come with me. Let's. I. We. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Come to work. Let me show you what we got here for you. Come, come on in. I, I want to tell you, so when we uh, went to the dealership, we said, hey, we're looking for a van for this awesome family. Everyone at the dealership pitched in. All of our friends and family thought, like, this was awesome. So we started getting, like, cash and gift cards um, to help. So here's, like, a couple thousand dollars worth of gas cards. Um, we also have more cash coming in. Um, the dealership like pitched in brand new tires. I mean, it was just like every, even even the, uh, what happened to the envelope? Uh, Ron, yeah, there we go. So this is from the GM at the, the, the store. And he was like, my wife and I want to contribute as well. And so, um, ripped that off. So look, I mean, they just put a bunch of cash in an envelope and they were like, hey, this family sounds amazing. And so, it's been kind of a big community effort, but we're so honored that, and grateful for all that you do for our foster care brothers and sisters. So hop, hop on up and in. Let's go check this thing out. We, it fits 12, so we can all pile in, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me go around the other side through that. Oh my gosh. We can just take it. I'll take that bag. <laughs> I'm gonna hop in right here behind you. One more time. We can go to the zoo in one car. I have to tell you something. One of my babies that just went home. This is a, this is lightly used, but it has a few oh years gosh. of warranty left. Um, it, uh, it shouldn't need anything. It was completely serviced. It's a, what I what I actually need from you guys. It's gonna be in your names. Uh -huh. So I actually need you to go back to the dealership and sign the documents okay. in your names, okay? So okay. they're actually, I don't know what you guys have planned the rest of the day, but they're kind, we don't of, have waiting, anything planned. They're kind of waiting <laughs> for you. Today? Yes, and okay. they're actually waiting for you. Joe and Wade, those are the two guys at Larry H. Miller Honda. We'll all get you their contact info. Okay. But we just need you to put it in your name. My wife and I have been foster parents as well. It's like the it's the most beautiful and challenging job on the face of planet Earth. You know what I mean? So um, we just hope this kind of lightens your load a little bit. When we call the my wife and I have supported the Foster Care Foundation for years now. When we call them, we said, "Is there anyone, anyone that needs this?" You know? And she said, "I think we have the perfect people." You know? Because we have you know kids of their own. They're always fostering kids, and it's just hard to find a vehicle that accommodates that many people. In it. I've been looking and looking and. And um, I actually 
what are these? Oh, good. <laughs> so good. this is just good. It was meant amazing. to be. Amazing. It was we meant to be. We can take trips to the, you know, yep. to the zoo. That yep. Everywhere and yep. instead of just one. Well, lately we've just had the Lincoln. Yeah. So we've been sharing it. So so Emily doesn't have to get up to take me to work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's kids that need help that only get it from people like you. So. Yeah, we love you. We love you both. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, of much. course. Of course. We love our babies. Yeah. I'm in yeah. a dream. Somebody <laughs> pinch me. This is just. Do you have no idea? I have no idea. It's just wow. I am so grateful. Of course. Of course. Thank so, you. So grateful. Thank you. Yeah. Our ward member, she she came over and she's been amazing. She helps us buy diapers and she oh, just does cool, all kinds cool. of cool yeah. things. And yes, or no one was it Friday. Hello. She came over. She goes, I wish I was rich so I could buy you a van. <laughs> so I can't wait to show her. I was at work. First. Clay, uh, Sister Clay. Oh, yeah. 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 That was one of the more beautiful experiences I think we've ever shared as a family. Um, dropping off that van to that amazing family that was in need of, uh, of the correct transportation. So, wow, uh, I think we were all kind of emotional doing it. And thanks to everybody that kind of participated and, uh, and will continue to participate. I think we're waiting for a bunch of stuff actually to come in still. So, um, you know, seeing what they were having to do. I mean, they have six kids of their own. They're fostering multiple other kids. Um, you know, they, they mentioned that to go to the zoo, they have to make multiple trips in their unreliable kind of older car. And so this, I think this is gonna change their lives. And, uh, and so, you know, it was a great honor for us to participate in that. So uh, we wanna to continue to do this. Uh, and I think we kind of benchmarked, uh, you know, every 25,000 followers we get, uh, we're gonna just give another van away. And so, you know, if we can incorporate my love of cars, even though minivans, uh, this was a first for me. I'd never been shopping for a minivan before. Uh, I learned a lot and actually they're really comfortable and, and economical and reliable and man, do they work well for a lot of you know, larger families. So I'm excited to give more of them away. Uh, so let's go do it.